question was asked in ES 2012. In this problem, a salient pole alternator has xd equals to 1.4, xq equals to 1, the armature resistance equals to 0. If the alternator delivers rated kVA at unity power factor and at rated voltage, find its power angle and excitation voltage. So let me first describe the phasor diagram of the salient pole alternator. This axis is the quadrature axis and the vertical axis is the direct axis. यहाँ पे आप रेड लाइंस को जरा ध्यान से देखिए ये वाली जो रेड लाइन है ये वाली जो रेड लाइन है ये है एक्साइटेशन वोल्टेज ई एफ ये वाली जो रेड लाइन है ये है टर्नल वोल्टेज ऑफ द अल्टरनेटर इफ यू एड जे आई डी एक्स डी एंड जे आई क्यू एक्स क्यू with the terminal voltage you will get the excitation voltage so v plus j i d x d plus j i q x q equals to excitation voltage this i a this line represents the armature current this armature current will have two parts the id and the iq now let me tell you about the angles you know that the angle between the terminal voltage and the excitation voltage is known as the power angle which is delta here the angle this angle which is in between the terminal voltage and the excitation voltage is known as the power angle delta now see this diagram both the diagrams are same the angle between the terminal voltage and the armature current is known as the power factor angle phi so this angle is phi and this angle which is in between the terminal voltage and the excitation emf or excitation voltage is the power angle in this question we have to calculate the power angle and the excitation voltage here i have introduced a quantity e dash this e dash is the quadrature axis locator the work of e dash is to locate the quadrature axis if you see this diagram see this triangle this triangle this one so in this triangle you can say e dash equals to v plus j i a x q the work of e dash is to calculate the power angle and this is the way this is the beginning of this question first we will take the help of e dash to calculate the power angle that is delta so let me solve the problem according to this question the value of xd is given the value of xq is given ra is given i am taking terminal voltage of the alternator as a reference and it is given that the alternator delivers because the alternator delivers rated kva at rated voltage it means 
the armature current will be 1 the magnitude of the armature current will be 1 because it delivers rated kva at unity power factor so there will be no phase difference between ia and the terminal voltage I repeat, there will be no phase difference between the terminal voltage and IA. That's why I have taken angle 0 here. I hope it is clear to you. Now, the value of E dash, which is known as the quadrature axis locator, can be found out in this way E dash equals to V plus JIA x cube. Put the value of v i a x q and solve this you will get e dash equals to 1.414 angle 45 the work of e dash is over because the work of e dash is to find out the value of delta and here the value of delta is 45 the angle of e dash denotes the value of delta so delta is 45 Now we will calculate the value of ID. If you see this diagram, this ID can be written as IA sin delta plus phi. I have written ID as IA sin delta plus phi. Put the value of IA delta and phi and you will get 0 0.707 per unit because according to this question the value of phi which is the phase difference between the terminal voltage and the armature current is 0 and the value of delta is 45 degree the value of current armature current is 1 put all these values and you will get 0 0.707 per unit now see this diagram if you want to calculate EF, see in this way, draw a vertical line, the magnitude of this line will be V cos delta, draw a vertical line here, this line is having the magnitude of IDXD. So here you can write ID XT. This whole line from here to here represents EF. Easily you can tell me the magnitude of the excitation EMF or mag magnitude of the excitation voltage. I have written EF equals to V cos delta plus ID XD. V cos delta plus ID XD. Put the value of V delta ID XD and you will get the value of EF that is 1.697 per unit. If you want to write the phasor form of the excitation voltage, you can write in this way. See, you have calculated the value of delta equals to 45 degree. Easily you can see from the phasor diagram that EF is leading with respect to the terminal voltage by an angle 45 degree. So you should write plus 45 here. So you have got the value of EF and the power angle. So this question is complete now. Thanks for watching this video.